Hello from the TV, this is getting fire three and because I am oh, with my brother. Where are you? And because I recorded um uh Mighty Trooper, I decided to record some solitaire, just as like a little funny thing. This will not happen again. Maybe chess next time and then that's the end of the old computer game. Okay, now let's start again. Oh yeah, club the club from WWE. So, they are really good, especially if you've seen one of their tag team finisher moves called the Boot of Doom. What happens is Carl Anderson, I think that's who he is, I think that's who holds him up. Or Nick Gallows, I think it was. Yeah, it was Gallows. Um, holds, Shotlin holds the person up on their shoulder, on his shoulders. And Carl Anderson comes running and gets them with his boot onto his onto their face. Oh, monkey. And then there's the magic killer. The what? The magic killer. Which is It's like it's like um um Nick Gallows um like holding them up for a Samoan drop and it's like I can't remember what it is, but I know that it's just deadly. Roman Reigns kicked out of it once. Roman Reigns kicked out of what? I, After I, being hit with the magic killer. Wow. And the move is so devastating that he was so lucky to even kick out once. By the way, there will be some times where I need to start a new game completely. Oh, no, no. Okay, go ahead again. Okay, so, um... Huh. Oh, so, uh... Who do you think is would do cooler in mid-air stunts? Never. Sammy Zayn or Sin Cara? Let me guess, Sin Cara, but Zemi Zayn did something like that. Sami Zayn is really cool because he even does suicide dives and you want to have him once. What? He was charging at the Miz and, and you want to know. So, or I think it was his own. And what happens, of course I want to know what happened. But, you know. And so what happens is, um, the, the other guy dodges out of the way. And so, um... Sam Zayn almost crashes into the barricade, but what he does is he jumps up, lands on the barricade, and, and does like a moonsault onto the other guy. Wow. Wait, say that again? Sam Zayn did a moonsault? Yeah, he did a moonsault. Wow. Onto the other guy from the barricade. Whoa. So yeah, Sam Zayn was on the barricade. He jumped up when he was running. He literally just stopped and like... When he was running as fast as he could, he stopped, jumped up onto the barricade, and did a moonsault. And he landed on his feet. And then yeah. he does those suicide dives. You know when they go through the middle wall to get the guy that's on the outside? Yeah. Sometimes he'll even jump over the top rope just to get him. Top rope. Yeah, and he even has this devastating finisher called the Haluva Kick. It is a halluva kick. Hal halluva. You must be saying it wrong because halluva. If you think about it, is it is it spelled L E? No. no, H E L L U V A. No. Oh, because if it was like that, people would call that halluva. No, but it's halluva kick. So what happens is he puts the guy in the other corner while he's in the opposite corner to that one, and what happens is. He runs at them as fast as he can and kicks them right in the side of the face. Whoa. You can That's one the hell of a kick. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Just kidding. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, it seems... It looks so devastating, though. Mm, yeah. And so he will... You can hear the impact as well. Which really is insane. Okay, yeah, and it's really insane what he does. 
I don't know if Sangala could do better, but I think he could, but Sammy Zayn so far has earned my top spot. <laughs> oh, also with the best finisher that I would think of. Gavin, you're too loud. Is Finn Balor. I think you're too loud. Finn Balor. Yep, there you go. Which what he does is... Oh, shoot. I'm glad I didn't use anything. Okay, go ahead, Gavin. Gets the other person down, like, close to the, um, the top rope, to the ropes. So what happens is, he goes to the top rope. He jumps up and stomps just on the chest. Whoa. And it's called the coup de grace, is what he likes to call it. Coup de grace. Yeah. Coup de grace. <laughs> And also, I think this one would be a... This one would actually be better than Sammy Zayn. You would... What you said. What did I say? Who is that caping you? That is entrance. A cape. Outer space. Level. Yes. With that finishing move, the red arrow... Yeah, what about it? I don't think I've ever used that one. What he does? Goes to the top rope. He jumps on Oh, yeah, you told me that. Yeah, thing he just was. spins and tosses, and somehow he manages to land from his body, from his front, from his stomach, onto the other guy. Wow. I don't know how he does it with as many flips as he's doing. Oh, this is one band move that was that was that happened in the WWE. Um, it's called the Canadian Destroyer, made by a person that was Canadian. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why. Captain Obvious. I don't know why he would name it that because he's pretty much destroying himself. So what would happen is, um. He'd get the other guy into a powerbomb position, and what he would do is he would go boing, boing, then he'd just flip over them, making it look like he'd, be, he'd get, like, tossed head first onto the ground. But then he flips again somehow and makes the other guy land head first as hard as possible onto the canvas. But the most deadliest is what I would think is most deadliest is the vertebrator. So what you're supposed to do is what they tell you that you're supposed to do. Keep your head like this, like that, like going downwards to make it look like your head's like going upwards since you're upside down. They get you back to back, so your back is on their back. You're hanging, you're hanging upside down. They got you by the arm. Your head is like up. Or straight, um, or you're doing it the wrong way and trying to look up. Um, so what happens is, they fall down, bam! What you're supposed to do is look, is look down. But what happens is, when that happens, your spine can be broken. But when you don't do it, your head is just hitting the ground as hard as it can. And when you're looking up, you're literally yeah, I get the idea. break your neck. I get the idea. The I know what that vertebrae is. No, but the weirdest part is, is why they give one of the stupidest guys in WWE Hurricane, which is very weak. Give. Who is very weak? No, they gave him. In the they game. Let no, in real life they let him use the move. Oh wow. And it was his finisher, and they're letting a weak guy pick up other guys. And they're giving him that responsibility. <laughs> I don't know. They're giving him that responsibility. I don't know what they were thinking, but I don't know what they were thinking, but you do know. you know the do you know the pedigree? What the pedigree is in WWE? I think so. Like what? Um, this will be the last does. subject. Of what Triple H does? He like gets in enough power of on the other side, but he lifts up their arms, grabs his hands like this with their arms on his arms. So Hansen he jumps up and like the face is in a power position area. So Hans he jumps up but Oh so you're saying like go, but, Oh no that's not the power bomb. But what he does is he lets go, which what he does now. Oh like they throw them No 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 no. It's like this. 
So, you get to like this. Pow! Gets their arms. Oh, I know! Oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't explain it. it punches them in the gut, right? Yeah, really. Or, or and yeah. the neck or is so right so near his crotch. Right yeah. Like, his neck is right... The back of their neck is right near their crotch. Yes. And they, he gets his arms right near the inside of the uh, elbow, right? Yeah. And picks them up. No, don't pick like, them up. Like, uh, picks them up real fast and just throws them behind him. No, no. What he does is he, he jumps up and what happens is their legs go and lifts up and they make them, their, their legs go straight. And so what happens is when he's falling down, he lets go of their arms so that they can, so that they can, um, catch the fall with their arms. And cause less damage, but before with the original pedigree, he didn't let go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he would heard cause, this. yeah, he would cause massive damage to that to them. Uh, which is really, really. Okay, you know what, Devin? This is the bonus one. This is the bonus one. Okay. One more topic after this one. This one is the last topic. Okay. Choose wisely. Okay. He's just waiting to choose this topic. Huh. If you don't have a topic, you can just end the video yet. Who is the w which WWE wrestler um is the worst in your in your opinion? In my opinion, uh, John Cena. Uh, John Cena. No, uh, in my opinion, I think actually, Daniel, I think I heard was the worst. Back in the day, I think he was one of the worst. No, he no. was one of the best. He was one no, of the best. no, nowadays he he's loses a, a lot. No, he was the best. Actually, he was a Hall of Famer, I think, yeah, already. Yeah, now he's yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. Hall of Famer twice now. Yeah, he was the first Hall of Famer, actually. Yeah, so, first yeah, he got it yet. again as well. Yeah, so he's not the worst. So, and yeah, and he has more than the matches that they want you to remember as well. He's okay, yeah, a lot. So, so is that your final decision? Yeah. Not? Do you want to talk about it or no? My my decision my decision would be um would be either like um uh, actually recent like more recent ones like two K sixteen game kind of thing. I think some crotch. No. Yeah. In a way he, he, when he's teamed up with his teammate, I think Simon Crouch is a bad one. That's my final decision. Alright. My, I think the worst one, in my opinion, is like, um... Huh. Um... Cesaro. Even though he's mm. really good, I think he's doing a bit worse, but I think he's gonna get better over the days. The reason is because he has a shoulder injury. So what happens is he has tape at that area. Yeah. Marking it. Um, and so he doesn't. He can't. It hurts him to try and do a Cesaro swing, but he can still do uppercuts. He just has to do it with the other arm. So I think he's st he's still good, but not. He's good not good enough. Much. Yeah. Is what you're trying to say. Yeah. Maybe when his when his shoulder actually recovers, he'll be like really good because he he was really good before that shoulder injury. He was do he was like one of the best. I wouldn't doubt that. Because of this, because of the God neutralizer, what he would do is get them in like a power bomb position, like lift them up like this, like their feet would be in the air. His arms would be like this, like like his arm would go in between his legs, grab him by like the stomach, and what happens is he would go like this, like go drop forwards, let go, and they would like fall body first. I don't think they can explain body. that one. Stomach so. first, power bomb position, lifting them up, um um, so that their legs are in the air, their that his knees. Oh, and so they lay on their back or on their belly. Oh, I see. So they have him around oh, and yeah. like down the ground, and he lifts him up, sort of to, like he, the head oh, is like the near their crotch. Yeah, like yeah, the head, head is right near their crotch, but 
and their belly is facing forward, so it's like the back of their head is near their crotch. And he has his arms wrapped around his belly, no, or like wrapped arms, around his belly one, and arm. No, one arm is going through the legs. Oh, one is going through the legs, and one is wrapped around the yeah, one is, one is like wrapped around to the other side. Okay, to the other side, and he just jumps and drops them. Okay. Yeah, jumps forward, which let which leaves them pretty much neutralized because he's won so many matches while doing that. Even if it's not even his finisher, it's insane how he can win while doing that. He's really good. Well, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below what you want me to do, or email me some suggestions for games. Subscribe if you're new, and may God be ever in your favor. Goodbye! Bye. Bye.